Joe and Joe Public knew life was tough. The factory closed and the roads were rough. Their life fell apart. They didn't know why. They wanted some answers, and I'm that guy. Howdy, folks. Larry's the name. I'm a loophole, and making a few people rich is my claim to fame. My mom's a lobbyist, and my dad's a politician. They make loopholes like me to give companies all kind of advantages that regular people like you don't have. Now, you probably heard terms like leverage buyout or private equity, but didn't really know what they were or how they affected you. Buyout guys like my friend here, Mr. Kravis, has gotten pretty clever at being greedy, all with the help of loopholes like me. You see, first thing Mr. Kravis does is find a company he wants to purchase. But as you might guess, if you care to try, a company is pretty expensive to buy. So he gathers investors to put some cash down, then borrows the rest from banks around town. Now here comes the trick and it happens pretty quick. When you buy a house or car, you have to pay back the loan, of course. But thanks to loopholes like me, the buyout guys don't have to pay back the loan. Oh yes, the company they just bought is responsible for the debt, and now that company has some big old loan payments to make. All the new debt makes finances tight, so they figure maybe some layoffs and sell-offs might make things right. Sorry, Joe. It's time to go. But the debt at the company brings another bonus, too. Lower taxes, baby. Because of all the new debt, the company gets to pay a lot less taxes. That means less money for schools and roads and hospitals. They pay less taxes? That's right. Same company, same product, just less taxes. Only one more part remains. Now let me tell you about capital gains. When a private equity firm sells the company, the buyout guys take 20%. That's called carried interest. And that carried interest that Mr. Kravis collects gets taxed at only 15%. So while he makes more than a million dollars a day, he's taxed at a lower rate than most of you pay. What, what about, about the roads and the schools? You need to move to a better neighborhood. Mr. Kravitz has got it all figured out, and your little problems aren't what he's about. Now, before you turn to a life of crime, let's go over it one more time. Kravitz finds a company he wants to get, runs it into a whole lot of debt, debt that's not his job to pay, and makes for less taxes anyway. The company gets a big old loan. You lose your job and foreclose your home. The company gets sold again. A lot of fees for him and his friends. He works it so he pays less taxes. It's a tough lesson, but them's the taxes. Kravis and other private equity execs are skimping on their share of tax. Tell the candidates headed for Capitol Hill. You don't want to foot private equity's bill. For more information, go to waronegreed.org. Do something.